Burning's been a traditional practice in farming for many years. Um, however, in the main, a lot of people don't want to burn. Uh, it's a dirty job, it's downtime, it's pollution, but most importantly, they're losing their ground cover. People understand that uh, energy is money these days and that keeping protection on top of their soil is the super important in terms of erosion, but also in productivity, in particular in dry years. I guess we're still in a position where we're still evolving conservation farming systems and for any number of reasons, such as resistant weed seeds in a crop or other pests, which are very problematic like snails at the moment, is that people will burn and use that energy to actually help take out a pest that would otherwise be difficult to manage. Snails is a huge issue and I guess it's really was highlighted once we started to bring canola into the, into the rotation and also uh, stubble retention has seemed to have um, increased or made a, an environment that uh, the snails have liked and enjoyed and, and have been able to uh, multiply quite, quite rapidly. A lot of people in the area have gone back to burning stubbles just to, uh, just to try and get a control. So I think there's a cause for burning at times. And I think what we're seeing now in terms of best practice is a change from wholesale burning where we just burn the entire paddock um, to more strategic types of burning such as windrow burning. And I think this year we've seen a significant amount of windrow burning where people have taken the time to basically collect up their, their pest, be that the weed seeds or the snails, and then strategically burn just that area. And I think that that makes a significant difference. It certainly reduces the overall risk of wind and water erosion. And at the same time, you're still able to keep a reasonable amount of energy inside the paddock and cover on the paddock. And in the main, get a, a kill on those pests, which is still more than satisfactory. We take the spinners and spreaders off the header at harvest time to put it in a big windrow from out the back of the header. Uh, we have a problem with snails and slugs and also it helps another weed problem in ryegrass or any seeds that get collected in that windrow get burnt as well. We'll see how it goes in the future whether we continue to do it because as we're building up more stubble um, we might end up burning more than we uh, really want to, so we'll see how that pans out. At the moment, it's a very good option for us, and it's such a uh, high temperature burn with the oil in the canola, rather than just a normal windrow of, say, a cereal straw, the temperature is almost tenfold, um, and it does a good job on killing everything in that windrow.